Hey, what's up guys? It's Dr. Cloud here. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new series, Pokemon Omega Red. Now, that's so adorable. Uh, so, I see my desk, I'm sorry. For those of you who don't know, uh, this is a Fire Red ROM hack, and I have... There is Celebi on the screen right now. I love that. It's a, such a cute mod. Um, but anyways, this is a Fire Red ROM hack that I've never really heard of or played very much of. I'm a boy. Um, I'm actually a man, but that's beside the point. Anyways, um, so I just want to put a disclaimer right now. If there are any weird noises or I suddenly have to uh, divert my attention to something else, it's because there are animals in the room at the moment and I will have to focus my attention on them for a little while. I accidentally named myself Man without thinking about it, but you know what, we're gonna go with it, it's fine. <laughs> man! Exclamation point, let's go. That's so great. Uh, so I also want to go ahead and say, uh, I actually already recorded the uh, first episode of this, but oh, I put on the running shoes. But that was like a week ago, and also my recording messed up, so it didn't quite want to work. So I'm hoping this time will go better. And in case you guys are curious and want to say play along with me, uh, I will most likely drop the link to this in the description so you guys can all check that out along with my Twitter because I know you all love that. And I just want to show off these mon right here. Got a Pidgeot flying over here. Got a bunch of people around town. There's a Butterfree, there's a Spearow, Metapod, Swellow. Just you know, it's like the only part of the game I've really explored. There's Vivalon, a beautiful eye. And a fun fact about this game, half the people talk in like Spanish. I think it is. It's definitely a language I do not know. And I am realizing that I need to change the deck speed really bad. And get a dope coloring. I dig it. I mm, actually want a blue. I changed my tech speed again. There we go. Yeah, so like half the people speak in a language I don't understand, and I assume is Spanish. But I know for a fact that I get a rare candy. I think it's actually two rare candies, if I remember right. Let's check. Yep. And for whatever reason in this game, they made it so that rare candies sell for, like, tw probably twice as much as they normally do. And I have no idea why. Like, it's super helpful right here at the beginning because, not gonna lie, this, um, the beginning, just the beginning, like, I think I had a hard time working around. But whenever I hopefully eventually get to later on parts then I hope I'll have a better handle on the game but for right now it's just it was rough man you also might notice I'm not focusing on like the actual like text very much right now and that's just because it's pretty standard Except I guess this is green, like you don't actually get to pick the name of your rival. If this is like your main rival, I don't actually know. I'm just ready to choose my starter list. Come on. I get the idea. So fun fact, I actually chose Bulbasaur on my first run through. 
And um, he starts with like only takedown, really. And that sounds nice and all, except first of all, it's a two turn move, and second of all, it's really hard to catch him on with that. So I'm gonna go with a fan favor and go with Charmander this time. Because I feel like I'm actually gonna get somewhere with a Charmander. I mean, there's no way they made Charmander bad. Charmander's a beast. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna call him. Super organic name. And I do love this. They actually choose the starter that is strong against you. I think that's just so important. Because in these newer games, they just... I don't get choosing a starter that's weak to you. Why is that a thing? Ooh, we might have a raise in special attack nature. I forget what gentle is. See, he has scratch. Scratch is so much better than having takedown. I think they're trying to make like diversity between each of their movesets, like Charmander as Scratch, uh, Squirtle as Tackle. They didn't want Bulbasaur to also have Tackle, so they gave him Takedown. I would rather have like Squirtle get Pound and use his Pound with like his tail. Alright, so this goes back to the point I was trying to make earlier, and I forgot because short-term memory loss all the time. Um, your rival choosing the starter that's actually strong against you is so important. That did literally nothing. I'm not gonna. I really want to speed up through this, but I feel like it's not gonna be worth it. I'm gonna lose if I don't use my potion. Please don't crit me. Okay, um... It's crazy, I already have to use my potion. Um... Choosing the starter is strong against you, I feel like creates a real challenge. And with the way they already changed the EXP share... Well, not changed, brought back the EXP share and made it so every Mon gets leveled up, like, a lot throughout your journey and you only really need to use one Mon the entire time. I feel like at least having your rival have something that's strong against you really adds some kind of challenge to the game. Okay. I think I'm going to knock it out. But do I just... do I go for it or do I play it safe? I'm gonna go for it. Yes! Pokemon Master, let's do this. Just saying I'm not a master. I really want to be, but I gotta work my way there. I think, as of like a YouTube standpoint, I think I'm probably a low mid trainer because I've already completed one Nuzlocke. If you need to check that out, I'll probably leave that in the description below as well. We played through Emerald and we did beat it, spoilers. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go get the parcel for Oak, if I remember right. Nice, we're fully healed. Did we get a level up from that? I forgot. Nope. Short-term memory loss, man. It hits hard. Okay. Ooh, it's raining. Yo, what if some kind of, like, event triggered right now? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Nope, just a Pidgey. So obviously we don't have Pokeballs yet, so our Nuzlocke challenge has not begun. And for those of you who don't know, um, also, rules for the Nuzlocke challenge will be in the description below, but I figure most people who are watching this do know of them. But I'm going to do a quick gloss over. Uh, so first of all, every Mon that you catch has to be nicknamed. You can only catch the first Mon you encounter in each new area, route, cave, city, etc. And if a Mon faints, then it has to be put in the PC and is considered dead and you cannot use it again. 
That was a pretty good explanation, if I do say so myself. You know, having the flying mod just flying over the trees is super cool. It's just, I feel like attention to detail was so important to the people who made this. I'm still not fully aware of why, like, half the things are Spanish. That still doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I don't know. Maybe it'd make more sense if I spoke Spanish. I feel like there's a hidden item up here. Ooh, maybe this is my special patch of grass. Okay, we're just gonna... I'm just trying to get to the parcel, like... Come on. This rotata has got nothing. Look at that, just use tail whip. I bet it only has tail whip. That would suck to get in this encounter if that's all I had. Ooh, we learned Ember at 6? You know, fun fact. Uh, a Bulbasaur doesn't get a Grass-type move in this game until past level 10. Which baffled me. It was like the first move we got was Tail Whip on top of Growl. And it made no sense whatsoever. It is raining, so... I feel like the Scratch is still going to do more. Let's go for it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try to run. Nice. Okay, let's just... Nope, can't go that way. And I have to go this way? Yep. Nice. Apparently I've got a lot of air built up inside me. Okay. So let's go ahead and pick up the parcel. Man. We're gonna have to fix that. Hang on. I just want to check to see if we can just... No. Alright, we'll work on the sound in the next one. For now, we'll just work through it. Shouldn't be too much of an issue right now. You know, I feel like I should try to grind a little bit before I give Oak his parcel. I just talked to this guy. See, normally there's like someone like right near the beginning who gives you like a potion or something, and I'd really love to get some items right now. Sorry, my dog is right under me. She likes to stay close to me. It's a nice feeling. Okay, so... Oh, there's this guy down here. I just figured we ran into... Hey, Zig the Coon! Ooh, okay, we can actually use Ember now. Because it stopped raining. Oh, we got the burnt first turn. Or first time ever using it. That's amazing. Beast is turning up right now. Okay, let's see if we can get to, like, level 8. It's not too crazy, and I can probably still catch encounters like that. Okay, let's see if we can get to this guy. Hey, there's an item down here. I did not pick this up last time, so let's see what it is. A full heal. That's not bad. Okay, I'm just trying to get back to mom so she can heal me because I'm kind of worried about getting one-shotted by something. That was a little bit riskier than what I wanted. We made it back. You know what's funny? The speed up music almost sounds like better than the actual music because it's a little bit skippy. And I don't know if that's I ROM or if it's just the game itself. That's fine, you guys can just focus on my commentary. Because it's just so amazing. So I do want to do a quick like uh explanation on like why I am trying to get back into this after being gone for so long 
because more than likely, you know, if people were to find me, they'd find this series way before they'd find the first one. Because I took probably a year off. And one big thing that was just kind of turning me off was like, I just, I feel like it wasn't really working and I just got deterred because I wasn't seeing the growth I really wanted to because in reality, like, making something, ooh man, um, we're gonna go for it, we're just gonna go for it, oh nice, making something out of YouTube is really hard, and I can only, I can barely even say that because I haven't done it, I haven't really gone anywhere, I have only like 15 subscribers, and I doubt very many of them like even really watch what I'm doing, it's raining again. It's a really hard to use Ember. So, I guess I wasn't prepared for the actual workload that goes into it. That got a crit. Really? I feel like... Okay, so I noticed this last time too. I really feel like they raised the crit chance in this game. <sighs> Excuse me, I have a lot of air built up. Um, so... I feel like I've come back to this with like better motivation for doing what I feel actually needs done coming into this. Like I actually have firm plans for like what I want to do in the future. And that's super important I feel. And like I'm constantly like trying to find something new because like I work a full-time day job, and like almost the entire time I'm there, I'm trying to think of new ideas that will get people interested in what I'm doing. And they're not always the best ideas, and sometimes I uh, play off what other people are doing because like I can see, hey, those are getting views, but like I think I can put my own spin on that and make it something that people watch me for. And I realize I am babbling a ton right now. Okay, there's the parcel. So, you guys will be super excited if we can finally get Pokeballs. And this guy's back. Okay, I just, I really want to skip through this because it's, it's the same in like almost every game. And they've made Kanto three times just Kanto and then five times if you count the Johto region. Granted it's a little bit different in Johto but I think the premise is still fairly similar. Okay so we have the five Pokeballs. Okay we have the five Pokeballs. So this is going to be our first encounter I'd love to be able to kind of just work my way through the grass though and not get an encounter and get more balls. Like, this isn't a randomizer or anything, so there's not anything too crazy to worry about. But I'm still worried anyways. Because I don't want to miss my encounters. Because I feel like they're just going to be so important. Okay, I do not know my way around this route apparently. I just feel like they're going to be so important in the future because I feel like this game is just going to be super hard. Oh, I made it all the way to Viridian without getting an encounter. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, the reason I to actually get here is because I know the rare candies are worth a bunch of money. And I, they're way more worth selling than using as actual rare candies in my opinion. Just having like almost a hundred thousand dollars to start with is crazy. So look at this. We're just gonna buy 25. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy 10 first and I'm gonna see if premier balls are a thing. They're not. Okay. So we're just gonna buy 15 more and just have a clean 30. It should take us through these first few encounters. Then we're gonna buy 
We're gonna go all out. We're gonna play 19. Definitely get some of these. And we're gonna get to our repels just to be safe. Bam. Okay, now we're actually gonna get our real first encounter. And we're gonna come right down here. Okay. And we get a Pidgey. Fine by me. Let's have a Pidgey. Okay, so I know it's... Hmm. I'm fairly confident it would live in Ember, but I don't want to take the chance to burn, so we're just going to go for a scratch. Nice. So we can just do one more scratch. Nice. Even if it crits, I should still live. Nice! Nice and easy. See, this is a plus side to not playing randomizer. Because, like, you can just catch them on nice and easy. I'm gonna pull out my Nuzlocke journal here. I keep it nice and close. Give me a second here. We're just gonna write our starter. Charmander. This is just to make sure I don't run into like dupes or species and I just forget what I actually got. Because it's happened way too many times to me. Alright. Let's keep that nice and close here. Interesting. So, most of it is in English, and then the actual deck's entry is in Spanish. Hmm. So, it says the Forest Mon, so I'm just gonna call this thing Evergreen. Get a fairly interesting name. Let's check out Evergreen just real quick. Oh, he lived on one. Wow, that was Kenai, nice. Only a tackle. He literally lived on one. And I said I wasn't going to take that risk to burn it, but I'll knock it all the way down to one. Yep, that's how that works. You know, I forget if people give you items in this town. I'm shaking my leg a lot, I'm sorry. The mic picked up like my desk shaking or something. Just a little bit anxious, that's the word. Just first time really getting a nice recording in a while and I just don't really want to mess it up. Considering I already messed up first one. It was kind of like, it was kind of like a deterrent, like, do I really, like, is this what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna spend my time is, like, worrying about if things are gonna record properly or not? Because, like, it can be a really big shutdown on, like, your morale. I forget what this item is, too. Oh, yeah. I forget if I sold mine last time. But, like, I feel like there's a reason they give you the Thunderstone just right there, like, super early in the game. I forgot about that. Okay, let's check this girl. Maybe she gives me something, too. Okay. So, over here, this is actually another thing I got caught by last time. There's a Larvitar there. Can I get him? So I actually went up too far and found out that well, that's a Bidoof. Uh, I mean, I like Babarrel. Babarrel's okay. Bidoof's, um, he's definitely not what I was like looking for, but he'll be all right. Does about the same damage as the Pidgey. Maybe 
people will be left and catch them just like the Pidgey too. You know, I'm just not realizing, I'm pretty sure you can get the um, town map from uh, Daisy in this game. And I completely forgot, because I was trying to figure out what route this is. And I definitely forgot. Because routes for the most part are pretty like self-explanatory, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Grasslands. That was a picture of Rattata, I'm just not realizing. I'm gonna call... Mm, I was gonna call him Weeds, but let's not. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna call him Soybean. You just be my little bean. Let's check him out. He's got damn. That is not bad. I will definitely take something that can't be exploded on. That can be huge. That little ball bush looks super fake. Oh, they're all over the place. Why did I just now notice them? Okay, I think I'm definitely going to go back and get the map from Daisy, because I... I don't actually... I wasn't paying attention enough to know what route that was. And I'm fairly confident that she gives it to you in this game. Yeah, I feel very bad just, like, guessing. I was first. Oh, they have full mantis? could have been cool. Like, I'm pretty sure its stats are like completely awful. Wait. There we go. Yep. Yep. There it is. Okay, let's get back to encounters. Piggy Peck would have been okay. Like, I, I honestly like super love to cannon. But I feel like Pidgey is a solid encounter. Pidgey's like the OG bird, like, super good. I feel like they must have raised beginning months based at total somehow, like their attack or something. Because I feel like they're doing their plus on this route. Please don't thunder wave me. Having a special move is so big at the beginning of the game. Ooh, leveled up. No new move, but that's okay. We have Ember. Ember's all we really need. I'm super worried about my encounters just being like super strong. Like the Pidgey, like the Pat Rat right there. It was. No, we have to go through a catching tutorial. I'm, I have literally no interest in watching this. Oh boy, here comes the old man as Weedle. Actually, we're gonna let's go normal speed so I can get a drink here. Good job, old man. I find it actually super funny that they just call him old man. He never actually gets an official name. There's a trainer right there. Who is also speaking in Spanish. Okay, it's just a pirate. As long as it doesn't get a crit, we're gonna destroy it. Bam. Look at that. Okay. We're just... I'm just trying to get encounters. Please leave me alone. Woo! Beast! Okay. Uh, that guy's kind of like... Okay, he's just a four-way turner. We're fine. We can just... There we go. And our encounter is... <gasps> It's a marine! Okay, I have to be careful with this. Okay, I'm just gonna scratch it. Okay, that's fine. That's that's great. We can catch him on a thunder wave. That's great. That's fine. It's fine. 
I'll take the attack drop. Okay, we can't move. That's fine. It's fine. I don't. I don't care. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of wondering if they, this thing only has. Um. Growl and okay, there's tackle. I'm getting a little worried. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Let me see if I can just get it into the yellow. Okay. Can I catch it? Please. Okay. 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 Yes! Mmm! I love Marip. It's... it's... Marip is a solidly designed mon. I didn't pay attention to that enough as my as I wanted to. Okay. Um What's a good name for this? Felix. I do not have a good reason why. He has static too. I'm surprised I didn't get hit by static. I'm definitely going to lead him on my next encounter. Hmm. I definitely do that on purpose. I want to get this last encounter now. Okay. Then, excuse me. There's an ente. Um. Bye, Inte. Did Did that just say he gave me a Zora? So he just casually just gave me a Zora. Okay. I, I, I am speechless. I, I just have no words for that. They're just, they just give you a Zora. It's from a guy who's just turning in all directions for some reason. Okay, Peaky Pick. B should be able to destroy this. We, we, we're gonna, because I want to get this last encounter, and then end the episode. I meant to press Ember. Wow, it took that Ember really well. Ooh, very nice. That could be huge. Okay. I'm actually worried about quick attack. So we're gonna just play it safe. I called it, it had quick attack. I would, literally would have lost Beast right there. There's no reason to take the risk, it didn't take it, and it paid off. And I'm definitely not gonna worry about losing Beast right now. Not just some random encounter I get.
you know, we might have a full team of six in episode one. That would be crazy. Oh, I also want to point out just real quick. Um, the reason that I didn't do a choose my starter was because, first of all, this isn't randomized. And second of all, I don't think I get... Okay. I don't think I get enough support on episode zero or choose my start or whatever to do it fast enough I guess because I'm trying to just kind of get this series like rolling and kind of just get things started for myself and get myself more into it okay I kind of want to know if I can just catch it right now Okay, I know I haven't really weakened it, but it's just a Kakuna and it's paralyzed. Okay. It sucks that the only special... Oh. You know, we're just going to weaken him first. It's fine. The only special move I actually have is um, Ember, and that's going to just obliterate this Kakuna. I definitely almost clicked Ember. It's fine. Well, you know, we're, we're gonna whittle him down. He can just keep raising his defense. He's gonna reach a max here in a second. Yep, there it is. Okay. Good enough. Just gonna paralyze him. Just gonna paralyze him just gonna paralyze him